In all the previous episodes, you listened to me explaining the basics of Raman spectroscopy while drawing. But before I was drawing, humanity has been drawing for a long time. In 1991, Dr. Hensewood and his team excavated Blombo's cave in South Africa. There, they found plenty of mesolithic deposits that date back to 100,000 to 70,000 years. Among them, many amazing human artifacts, bone tools, ornaments made from shells, human teeth, and so on. Today, after 20 years, the field work is still ongoing. In 2011, archaeologists found a surprising circuit flake, and they numbered this piece L13. On L13, there are 9 lines, 6 straight, and 3 slightly curved ones. But what is it exactly? Did the prehistoric people who lived here draw this? According to the mainstream theory at the time, our ancestors only made stone carvings and did not start drawing until they began immigrating to Europe. Earliest drawing was found in Spain, dated back approximately 40,000 years. However, Dr. Hensherwood was very sure that he had found a drawing that was over 30,000 years older than the one found in Spain. A theory was quickly developed. Back in 2008, Dr. Hensherwood already found a wealth of evidence that the people who lived here processes ochre stone into tools using fire. Ochre stone contains hematite and is known for its orange-red color. Maybe this was how they drew the stripes on sample L13, but how to prove it? Dr. Hensewood's team used a Raman microscope and tried to identify the red lines. To avoid any kind of damage to this precious sample, the output power of the 785nm laser was tuned to 1 mW only. Though there was a fluorescent background, we can see a set of Raman peaks clearly identifying hematite. With that, there was no doubt anymore. 70,000 years ago, a group of prehistoric people had already mastered the technique of producing red crayons and kept them like we carry ballpens. What exactly did they draw? Are the stripes an abstract piece of art or an early form of numbers? More questions are waiting to be answered by the Raman microscopy laid the cornerstone.